I... It's been a long time since I've done this. Sorry, I've been slacking off and shit. Well, I wanted to make this video because there was a few topics that my friend recommended. Because, well, he's upset. I think. Right? So, first topic. Girls getting pregnant at an early age. I'm okay with, you know, young pregnancies. I believe shit happens, you know. You get, you have sex. He tells you to use a condom. You find out he did it. You're like, why you did it? He was like, I thought I did. And you're like, no, you didn't. How you think you did? It's plastic over your pain. How you not notice that? He was like, my bad. He was like, nigga, fuck you. I understand. Shit happens. It's happened to me before. Okay, I'm lying. I've never gotten pregnant. I'm sorry. Right? Why so many of you guys, though? You guys are like, there's a lot of you. A lot of teen pregnancies, especially here in the city. It's bad. It's really bad. Like, there used to be a time where you just wanted to go grab your purse and go out. Now you gotta grab your purse. You gotta put the formula in the bag. You gotta get the pampers. You gotta get the baby wipes. You gotta get the bibs, the change of clothes. And now instead now you're 30 minutes late because you got to get little soccer juwea's ba baby shit already and now you late for work because you got to bring it to the daycare now you see how you fucked up and the dad's nine times out of ten your dad's not gonna be around you know your baby daddy he ain't gonna be around he out djing and shit like you know your baby daddy a dj because you thought meeting a nigga at the club was a good idea you thought wrong because he gone you got played. Anyway, um, but yeah, I, I, I was at a Koro the other day. For those who don't know what a Koro is, it's a small little get-together at someone's house. It should be a bunch of friends. Maybe those friends would be like one friend. Not really a party, just a small little get-together. And there was this girl there, and she was with her baby, and she's trying to, like, hit the floor while she, like, rocks her baby to sleep. And I'm like, w what are you doing? You look stupid. Why... You're making the baby nauseous. He's not. He's not having a good time at all. What? And I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking at her good, and I'm like, Did you just give birth recently? That baby's small. And I we realized she gave birth like like three weeks ago, and she's here trying to dance and shit. Like, no, bitch. You. Why are you trying to have a good time? You better go. You better go home and fix that fucking. You better put some formula together, bitch. You just look stupid right now. Like, you pregnant... Pregnant bitches... If you have to your fourth month of pregnancy, don't go to parties anymore. You bumping into shit. You knocking the liquor over. Your fucking... Your fucking belly hit me. I accidentally grabbed some girl's tit. Now she yelling at me. It's your fault. Pregnant bitches, stay home. Stay home. Right? And, um... That's it. Uh, what else we got here? People on FB beasting for likes. I think that was a personal thing he's got going on there. <laughs> um, uh, I don't really know what to say to that. I guess if you got it, full on it. If you don't, keep sharing it until someone likes it. I don't really know what to say to that. Um, maybe just like, I don't know. Uh, the people who don't respond to the inboxes when they're online. You, well, usually that's the not wanting to talk to you thing. Other times it's just the girl's got like a 2 by 4 up her ass and she needs like a construction crew to help pull that out. You know, construction crews don't work on weekends. She, you know, she she busy, right? So I'm not going to get into that. That's personal. Um, The people who get drunk really quickly. Um, I get I I was like that at a point. I, um, I remember once there was a party... And, um, it was hot, it was hot, and I didn't eat, and it was hot, and it was really hot, and I, I kind of got a little fucked up off of two Coronas, but like I said, I didn't eat, and it was hot, and it was like really hot, I can't stress the fact that it was very hot that day, and I'm here, and I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm all fucked up, and I'm, you know, like, I'm telling my friend, like, mad shit, and he's like, he's like embarrassed by me, cause, I, shit, I'd be embarrassed. That's too fucking. Yeah, who does that? I, I do that. I, I do that. Um. What other stuff? 
long distance relationships. You see, I paid attention to a lot of long distance relationships. And here's the thing. Usually, the only way those function, you're either Skype sexting, you're sexting sexting, the nigga's ugly and lonely, or he's probably with somebody else. There's probably a side chick you don't know about. I'm not saying all guys. I'm not saying all guys to the people who are going to comment this song about me and my boyfriend had a long distance relationship for two years and we love each other. Not all guys. Just 89%. Okay, I'm lying. 98%. Maybe you got a 2%er. You, you might be lucky. They, they exist. They're still good guys. In the world. But I'm a realist. And the reality of it is those shits don't usually work out. Maybe it's just me. But I think I'm right about these things. Um, I feel like there's something I'm forgetting. I don't know. Um, I guess that's it. Uh, to everybody who watches the videos, uh, thanks for the support. I love you guys. I wouldn't be doing this if you guys weren't around. To every guy who wants to plow my fist in with their face. I mean, plow my face in with their fist. Whichever one works for you guys. Uh, uh, I fucked your bitch, nigga. I fucked your bitch, nigga. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. I fucked your bitch. I'll fuck your bitch again. Bye.